Hey everybody, uh, this is a little demo of turning bird calls into MIDI uh, sequences that you could use in some digital music. Um, this first part is cleaning up the bird call in RX6, which is audio processing software. Uh, much like Audacity, you could do this in Audacity, but it's, it's easier for me in this. So there's a little false we'll start and we'll get it to the beginning. There's the bird call. And uh, it's pretty noisy. It's got a lot of, you know, the way that you can see it is that sort of orange haze over the whole thing. The bird call is at the upper half and their uh, stripe across the very bottom is rumble. So the first thing to do is get all the noise and rumble out of this. And this part of the movie just shows the steps I went through to do that. The first one was a spectral repair. And you can see it's a lot better now. You can really hear the bird, not much background noise. Those little squares that are showing up now are... One way you can edit in RX6 is by highlighting an area. And when I do that, that's all that's playing. So uh, what's going on is I'm taking, you can see little sound imperfections are going away as I clean them up there. And there I just let it loop for a minute. And decided, yeah, that's good enough. I think these were bugs, actually. And what I wound up doing when I selected my little loop, there goes the rumble. Uh, well, that's pretty good. Got the low stuff off. But now I'm going to select a loop and just use that loop uh, for the actual sample that goes into uh, live. So here I go. Just picking off two bird calls, I sort of wanted to just do two measures in music speak. And you can see those bright areas. Those are actually notes. If you look over here on the far uh, right, you can see that the keyboard's mapped in there, and so my thought was that I could use this to plot my course to some MIDI notes and duplicate the sound of the bird with a synthesizer. And, uh, so this is my starting point. And uh, bear with me for a minute while I bring up the next one. Here's the next one. Oop. Not quite centered. Hang on. Oh. So now what you can see is that's the audio track. A little too loud. Back it off a little bit. And there's a tiny little bit of uh, Ableton Live. That's the audio track. And then I'm going to make two melody tracks. These are two MIDI tracks. And I'm going to be using these bright spots to map to this keyboard. And I've already done it, so I'm just going to turn on the notes. And I'm going to go back and forth up here between uh, MIDI and audio. So this is the audio, now the MIDI. So that's the MIDI chirp chirp. And you can hear it chirping away, but now I'm going to go back to the audio. So you can hear the audio version of it. See, that's the chuckle. Audio, MIDI. Audio coming up. So here are the rest of the notes getting turned on. Here's the MIDI version. And hear that little ee ee at the end? I couldn't get that with notes. It's so high. That ee ee is so high that I finally wound up switching to a, a shaker sound in a drums in a drums uh, drum kit. So there are the shakers getting turned on. And uh, I forgot to turn them on. There we go.
Well, that's the bird call in the MIDI thing. Uh, I thought it worked pretty good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some more of those. Anyway, it was a lot of fun, um, and maybe you can do some of your own. If you do, uh, let me know. I'll love, love to hear them. That's it, kids.